Hi, welcome back. It's part seven. Uh, today I'm doing a test export. I've already done the work. I'm just playing this back uh, fast to show uh, the joining of the model. I'm joining all the pieces together into one mesh. I'm not bothering with the wheels or any of the other bits. And it's just uh, the simple uh, body shell shape. Uh, and the glass. And doing those as two textures, I can do one UV and wrap for both and apply the save the UV as a texture and then um, I can uh, use that created UV uh, map as a, as a texture on that by, by loading it back in as a, uh, as a texture file. I'm just creating it metal texture here but I don't use it. It's a complete waste of time. I will use that later on though once I do um, a, a, a proper export um, for, for, a, for the finished model. Obviously there's a lot more detail that needs to be added before completion. Just saving the UVs off here. Now, save the UVs off and then I tried to do an export, but I forgot that uh, I needed to apply the textures. So I apply them here. Whenever you're ready to export, make sure you save very often. The reason I say safe very often is because this happens. Now you might notice that there's some files there already for Canopy and Cockpit. They're basically copied over from another mod that I'm working on. I've copied the entire, entire file structure. So I know this is, pretty much know this is going to work. But this time, just for the sake of showing you what happens if you don't set up Blender correctly, Blender has died on me. I left to basically start over. Thankfully, I did save the model though. So the problem was that it doesn't support Eulers. It's got to be quaternions. So I set that in there, in the in there for each part of the model. And now the export's done in less than a second. And we're model viewer. Yay, we've got the the main fuselage there. And you can see through the model because it doesn't draw the back of any face. Obviously the front of each face is uh, what you see and that's what's sticking out. The tail there, you can see that I have actually got that the normal map reversed, which is why you can see through the tail. So not the tail, the elevator. You can see the back face of the elevator, simple fix to that simple two buttons two clicks sorry oh, it's a poly count you can see I've got about 27,000 sorry not bot poly count but a uh, triangle count and that's a direct reflection of how many uh, vertices you apply, uh, you place if I compare that to the F14 by Heatler, when it loads, you'll see I've got a few vertices to go yet before uh, I've got too many. This is like a quarter of a million. Anyway, uh, Thanks for watching this. I hope it helps somebody out there. Um, and I hope you join me back for part eight. And subscribe if you want to stay in touch with the videos.